Hey everyone, as part of this series around DAX and ca calculated columns and measures, we'll just start by experimenting with calculated columns and measures. So we'll create a calculated column and we'll see how it gets materialized. And we'll also create a calculated, uh, sorry, so we'll also click create a measure. And uh, you can see in, in the Power BI file I've got, I've got two tables, DIM employee and fact internet sales. So I click on DIM employee and you can see the data on the left hand side as well. So essentially, um, when we do create a calculated column, it gets materialized and it gets evaluated on a row by row context. So let's say first name plus last name would be a very good candidate for uh, uh, creating a calculated column. So we'll learn how to do that. So I've got this table selected and I'll just click on, so I click on the three dots here and then I'll just say new column. And here I'll just say full name, employee full name. And this is, uh, and then I'll just concatenate the, so we use the concatenate function and then we'll just do the first name. So the first name, and then we'll just add spaces. Otherwise what will happen is that we'll have the first name joined immediately after the last name. And then we'll have to use another concatenate. And then maybe there's a, oh, so there's a typo with what I've put in. So this, yeah, this is after this one. And then, and here I'm just going to say um, last name. And I'll just close the brackets out and hit enter. And you can see it's created this column called employee full name. And you can see it's also materialized in the table. So you can see it in the table. It doesn't get calculated at the time of when you select the context or you select a filter, it's already pre-calculated. So that's because the, the value will not change. So let's say if uh, the it's, it's not a percentage of profit or the profit amount, which will change based on the filters you can tweak. This is a full name or employee full name. So this is not something that will get, change based on the filter values. Now the next one we'll do is we'll create a quickly, we'll try to calculate the profit percentage. And as a rule, we, I just want to put everything in a table called calculations. And the reason I've put it as a underscore calculations is, uh, so it is always at the top. So underscore calculations and all my measures go there. But for now, let's just create one and we'll nest it in that table. It's a new measure. And I'll just say profit percentage. And we will say is equal to, so this will be sales amount. minus so let's just close this bracket minus sum of um, cost so what's the cost products time product let's see what is there any so total product cost and I close this up so this and now I put both of these in brackets just to get the calculation right and then at the base we'll have the sales amount again and I'll just close this up and now you'll see this one Though this has been created, it's not materialized. So if you go to the extreme right, you will not see this anywhere. And if I select this also, you can you cannot see this. Now let's just nest it in the other table. So you can drag it if you wanted to, or you could go here on the modeling tab, and then you select the the, the measure that has been recently created, and you go to its properties. Sorry, so I had to uh, select this on the right. And then I'm just going to say the home table is underscore calculations. And so now you can see it's moved. So all your calculations sit in the calculations table. Now I also want to make sure that this is uh, the formatting for this is correct. So I'll, I'll go select this again. And for formatting, I'll just say it's a percentage sign. And now <clears throat> I can, I can uh, actually look at, let's say, so let's uh, start checking by order date. Um, So we'll select the order date and we'll select the profit percentage. So it just sits in the same table and it shows us how our profit has trended. And then we could uh, just say maybe we want to see it at maybe year and month level. And that's how it needs to be. So you, you can actually play around with it. But in this video, what we've done is we've experimented with 
calculated columns and measures. So calculated columns get materialized in the table. You can see it in the dim employee table um, here. So if I select it and go to the extreme right, and this is in case, you know, uh, these are values which will not change based on the context. So something uh, in uh, these are not facts uh, or these could be uh, attributes uh, or labels to the dimension uh, probably that you could use as a calculated column and profit percentage in this case is a field. So you can see that there is no even once I move the profit percentage to calculations, there is nothing here. But it gets calculated based on the context and and based on if, if let's say again if I select the birth date as a filter and I, I just move everything out so I've got 1939 what's the value so it's it's not filtering that's funny I'll take this out for now and do it based on order date and put a filter on this and I'll just make this a filter and here let's say if I filter on 2010 so you can see that the values change because obviously we are we are filtering values out and so on and so forth so and I and the reason it was not working on birth date was because people from that birth year might have purchased uh, data in 2013-14 in so it, there was not a, a direct correlation so I couldn't understand it when we were doing it but that makes sense why that bit didn't work. So in this video we quickly looked at uh, calculated columns and measures and we uh, briefly discussed when to use which one. So I hope this video makes sense to you and you enjoy this video. Please do like my channel and enjoy my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Let me know if you would like me to take any specific topics. Um, have a good uh, one. Cheers. Bye.